Hello dear subscribers, in this video I definitely want to give you a very special and very little um, funny and very useful little tweak or trick that you can use in WordPress during development. If you develop a website for yourself or for a client or anybody else, this can come in very handy. It is about the template files of WordPress that you occasionally have to change or uh, edit at some point. Well, which you can find in, in your, of course, appearance and then editor. And then here you automatically have the uh, folder selected of the theme th that you're using right now. In my case is the child theme of the Zephyr uh, theme. Now here I have all the files available that I can change. This is of course the style.css where I can put some custom styles in here. And it's of course on default also the functions.php. And here you can already see I can put any custom functions in here. But what if I want to uh, make some changes in any other files? Um, so if I look in the parent theme, of course there are millions of more files that I can change uh, potentially like the footer PHP or the archive PHP, page PHP, header PHP and so on and so on. Of course I could also just log into my FTP uh, folder or go to my hoster settings into the file settings and then just create a file uh, of those into my and copy them into my Zephyr child folder and then they would appear here as well. That is the very normal way. And then of course you can go and ch make some changes for example to your header PHP. But what if for some reasons or just for convenience reasons you don't have access to FTP or your hosting settings? What if you're working on a project for a client and it's weekend and uh, he forgot to give you the FTP uh, settings, login details or anything like that and you just don't have access to them or um, you forgot them, you add a friend and don't have all the login details with you. For, for, for whatever some reason, you might not be able to log into your FTP, but you still want to make some changes to any of these files. Or maybe you made some wrong uh, additions here to your functions PHP and then all the site crashes and you, you cannot access it anymore. So what do you do? I show you a very cool trick how you can actually create some template files in WordPress without touching any FTP or any hosting settings. Well, for that you have to do something weird first. You go into your themes directory where you see that the Zephyr child theme is at the moment is selected. So for this trick you first have to go into uh, another theme. So let's go into 2015 for example and activate it. Now I'm um, First I want to open our homepage, then we go back to the editor, then we go into yeah the 2015 and we go into the header.php. And here we go, we have the uh, original, the parent file of the header.php and here at the very top, before the starting tag of the PHP, we have to enter a special additional PHP tag. We also start with question mark PHP and then we write touch, open parentheses and then this little thing, I don't know how to call that in English of course, and then we have to navigate to the file structure of the directory where we actually want to create the new template file. And this is of course the um, child theme directory. I just quickly have an example here from my uh, local MAMP uh, installation here. I have the WP content. I already navigated there and of course in there there is the theme directory themes and then slash I have the Zephyr child for example. The directory where I want to create an additional template file. In my case for example it would be the header.php. So I would of course have to write it exactly like it is here. And uh, yeah, one thing is important. You have to know the exact spelling and name of the theme that you want to create a new uh, template file for. So in my case it would be Zephyr Child and then you would write the file name of the file that you want to create. 
then we close this parentheses, write the semicolon, write a question mark, and then close the tag. Now we update the file. We update our homepage. We see, of course, the 2015 something. Yeah, there are still some weird elements in here. I actually cannot explain why this is, but it doesn't matter. Then I take out the tag here again, out of the theme, I update again. And then I go to themes and go back to uh, my Sapphire child and activate this again. If we uh, then update our page again, we should see our initial page again, something went wrong, but we go into the uh, editor again and have a look at our Sephir child and we can see we have this header.php magically created in our Sephir child directory. It reads it from the directory and displays it here. We can see that we can use it. So if, for example, yeah, of course, at the moment it's completely empty, but to make sure we can uh, edit it now, I mean, of course we can already put stuff in, we just go into the parents directory and uh, completely select this one um, for some reason. Okay, okay, yeah, We all we have to do is we go back to our Cephid child again into the header PHP and then also copy this in here, update the file and then we're done. And we can now make any changes to this header.php file uh, and uh, yeah, we can customize any of these files and exactly in this way we can create any other f uh, template file for our theme without touching any FTP, any file structure via host or anything else. Isn't this very cool? Well, if you like this little tweak and this little video, then I would be very happy if you subscribe my channel and also like this video. Thanks for watching.